So there's a couple things that I want to kind of confess here. First, it's been officially four years since I started YouTube back in September of 2018, and a lot of things have happened since then. And the first thing I want to kind of get off my chest is I started YouTube with the express intent of making this basically my full-time gig, or at least give me enough freedom to do whatever the hell I want. And that means I would make money doing YouTube. And most people say, well, I just did it for the fun of it or making videos. No, I never, I never did that. That's the first thing. And the second thing is it's a very young industry. The supposed YouTube gurus and things, it didn't take me very long to figure out that really nobody knows what the hell they're doing, <laughs> which makes this such a great space to be in. And I'm gonna actually sit down here and uh, we'll just talk for a second. So first off, anybody that's watched me for multiple years, first, I want to thank you for watching me because it's amazing. I've loved doing this. I'll continue doing it. Uh, I, I just drives me crazy when people say YouTube's so hard or this is not, you know, uh, yeah, I don't want to glamorize it too much, but I will say this is boss, by, by far the best job I've ever had. And I've had some great jobs and I still have a day job I, I still go to that I really enjoy. But I, I love YouTube for what it is. And uh, the best thing about what I do is having access to you, really, the audience, the 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 opportunities this has afforded me have been absolutely amazing. I, I would say the best thing I've seen is I've been able to talk to folks the, the experts of industry, not other YouTubers, um, because most most YouTubers, let, let's just be frank, we're personalities on your screen. Uh, we're actors for the most part. You got to be entertaining. Educational is, is a bonus, but really, that's that's the main priority of YouTube is to uh, educate and, and also uh, entertain. And that's one of the big things. And you got to love what you do. You got to love what you're talking about. Uh, as I learned, as when I first started back in 2018, just just to take you back, I remember looking at it and going, "Man, God, all the YouTube's just a bunch of 20 year olds and 30 year olds, <laughs> and that's it." And most of them had been doing it for a while, meaning they don't really have much professional experience. And I was like, I know all this. And I was I was probably that uh, a little trollish thinking, oh, well, I know more than them. I should just do a YouTube channel and I'll show them. And it's pretty funny because I look back on those videos and yes, some of them were educational, but uh, so terrible because I hated talking about some of that early stuff. I was talking about like server 2019. I think I talked about exchange a little bit and some other stuff before I found stuff that I just truly loved about technology that I just completely forgot about or I just never had the time to explore. And now having a YouTube channel, uh, I can explore it and I can not only explore it, but I can find people that are the experts in that specific industry to actually teach me and show me examples that is better than any college or classroom or book or anything I could find on the entire internet and make a project and then have someone school me on what I'm doing wrong and learn at such a rapid pace in every single vertical I talk about, which is amazing that I can pick up skills so quickly because I have access to everyone watching this video. And, and that's what's beautiful about YouTube. Most people look at it and say, oh, yeah, all these YouTubers are driving some fancy car. My car is eight years old and I don't plan on upgrading anytime soon. And I don't plan on moving into a new house and I don't plan on just buying some massive building like some YouTubers do. I plan on just keep my channel clean and exploring new things and having fun. That's where it took me a little bit to figure that out because I think in like 2019 and even 2020, I dabbled a little bit in advertising and doing pre-roll ads or baked in ads where you're like, Hey, this video is sponsored by whatever. And sometimes you could do that at the beginning and also the end of the video, if you really want to maximize revenue and really squeeze it. But as a viewer, I watch YouTube and I watch YouTube videos uh, and I got to say, I hate that experience. All I do is skip it and there's really no value to the viewer. And uh, I would hate to run off the people, the, the biggest value I get is, is the people that watch and the people that uh, I have access to on GitHub 
and, and those types of things, it, it's truly amazing. And if I if I were to say that's the most valuable thing about what I do, and uh, yeah, I don't make as much money as many other YouTubers, and I still have a lot of uh, brands reach out to me and say, hey, we'd love to do a 45 second integration here or uh, do that. And I'll still do the occasional dedicated video usually uh, if it's a brand or a product that I'm like, hey, I have never messed with that or I've, I've never put my hands on it I, or I think maybe there's, there's a lot of value in that. I might grab it and do a dedicated video on it because it's probably a product I would have bought anyways. <laughs> And that's where I actually still do some sponsored stuff where I do get paid. Uh, but usually that's like one every couple months. Uh, I probably should be a little bit better about it, but I'm not. And, and I, I'm sure I will get better about that in the future. But it's not a priority as the best thing about what I do is learning something new and having fun doing this the fact it's two o'clock in the afternoon i'm sitting here in a park and just talking to a camera after working out uh, that's not a hard day it's a beautiful day and i love what i do and i'm not gonna hire anybody i might eventually like buy some lease space just so i could set up a couple different sets and have some variety when i shoot these videos because i, I think it can get a little stale in that little dungeon, uh, you know, that little 80 square foot room I record in. But uh, past that, I just, I love doing this. And I love that people enjoy watching some of the weird stuff I put out there. I know I've done a stint on like 3D printers recently and I'll, I'll touch back on that after I learn more about CAD design and actually designing aspects of that. And I just wanna let you know that Yes, uh, I, I probably should have been a little more straightforward on how I do things, but YouTube's just such a funny thing. And it's such a, a thing where I think more people should do it. And, and really all YouTube is, don't let anybody tell you you have to have some fancy camera or, or whatever it is. It's really just about repetition and having just a huge library to fall back on. And that means you just got to make a ton of videos. So if there is somebody watching this that wants to do YouTube, my advice is simple. Make a video every single day for 365 days. And if you have the knowledge and you are entertaining and you have something unique to bring to the table, you're going to probably eclipse me in no time flat. You're going to probably grow a lot bigger because you're going to be a lot more focused. I'm just not a focused guy. And uh, I do that kind of on purpose. A lot of my content spread and it's kind of all over the place because I don't like talking about the same thing. At the end of the day, this is kind of what I love. I love to have fun. I want to continue doing videos for the next 10 years. And I want it to always be about technology of some sort. But just know that sometimes I will float around and, and I try and peg myself down. And I look at what people look at and, and say, hey, the audience really responds to this video and I do make more videos like that. So don't ever think that, oh man, Titus is on some weird tangent today. Just skip that video, maybe check out the next one. I, I made something called Windows Wednesday and I did that mainly because I find that I forget about Windows sometimes if I don't talk about it on a weekly basis. So I make sure to make it a point to do a Windows video every Wednesday and I'd like to talk about Linux. I usually go on huge Linux binges and then wean myself off and do other stuff and occasionally I might sprinkle in like a Mac video. I'm probably overdue for that. Might talk about Darwin a little bit. Um, and then just tackle new and exciting things. And yeah, so that's kind of my confession, I guess. Uh, yeah, the things I hate about YouTube, I would say, just to leave you with this little nugget, is having to do stupid titles like a confession or this one thing saved me, you know, those stupid things. Yeah, it would have been nice to just make some, you know, 60, 60 long word expressive title. But then no one clicks on it, no one watches it, and it kind of defeats the purpose of making videos on YouTube. It's the nature of the beast. Maybe there'll be something really cool that happens, a new platform that comes out. And if you're really interested in more analytical stuff, what the hell are you doing on YouTube? Uh, that's the one thing I gotta say is it's not a great platform to learn on. It's a good platform to be entertained. But I would say the one thing I'd say about YouTube is that. 
I think someone will unseat them in video and make something really fun, educational. Uh, there's a new Instagram alternative called Vero, really minimalistic photography. I'm not a photographer, so I'm not saying, hey, go here, sign up for it. But it's really interesting. I think something like that in a more streamlined setting where people just subscribe and you just get that person's content. Uh, I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be a neat spot, but I'm kind of rambling at this point and I need to get back. So thank you guys again for subscribing, liking the videos, and just know that I'll continue doing this and I'll continue getting better. It's one of my goals. I do continually try and get better, but that's not going to entail hiring a team of people. It's not going to entail buying some building. It's not going to be uh, all these stupid things YouTubers do and put themselves in a really precarious situation when YouTube eventually takes a dump on them. And uh, I don't want to do that. I want to just always be completely independent. And the thing I love most about what I do is freedom to do anything. And that's really where I'm going to maintain. As long as I can make a living doing this, I'll continue doing it. And yeah, I, I'm not going to be a millionaire, but at the same time, I'm going to make enough to just live my life and have the freedom that I want. And uh, that's it. That's the video.